Roy Croft was BP's advertising manager in the 1980s, when the commercials industry was enjoying its heyday. I joined BP in 1969, recruited as an advertising specialist, and I worked on for 25 years, retiring in, in 94, uh, and in, always in the advertising field and ending up as advertising manager. My first job was to set up a campaign based on BP's discovery of oil on the north slope of Alaska. Now that was the first kind of real effort to start building a BP image. The most successful oil field in the North Sea. Is it American? The next campaign, the major campaign that I got involved in was built around the, the discovery of, of oil in the North Sea. The implication is, hey, we're doing all these things. Um, it's good for, for society as a whole. BP, Britain at its best. We monitored that, that campaign uh, very, very carefully, and we shifted ourselves from being way, way down in terms of recognition, awareness, uh, standing, and we managed to shift ourselves above the then leader, ICI. Following the Britain at its best campaign, there was a lot of thought given to the importance of the brand. And we started the campaign by briefing WB Donor, a Detroit-based agency. This is working to base up close to empty. We launched the On The Move campaign in 1987, and that told the story of uh, a company that provides uh, fuel for trains, planes and automobiles, allowing them to get on the move. But at the same time, the advertising told the story of a company that was on the move itself. Where do millions of lorries, helicopters, trains and planes go when they're low on fuel? The same place you do. BP. We briefed WB Donor to follow up the mission campaign with a really good commercial. And they came up with a commercial called Elevator. Fourth floor aviation fuel research. I think the creative people were very much influenced by the big feature films. No coincidence, the company we, that was chosen to produce Elevator, George Lucas, Star Wars. On the Move started before the re imaging of BP. And the, the commercial that did that, or and launched that, was one called Task Force. Bay door opening. And that was shot in Bonville Salt Factory. We built a service station. And that was directed by quite a well-known director, Hugh Hudson. We had this C-130 plane that, that came in, and it skimmed the top of the service station by a couple of metres. You had to be quite brave to stand and watch this thing coming in. More inviting and a little nicer to look at. I'm just going to have a word with Bjorn. He's on the helicopter. Come on. Humour is a very good part of the, of the weaponry of advertising, and if you can make people laugh as well as remember the brand, that, that's good. And uh, we did produce some funny commercials. Backing Britain by investing. BP. One we did, which I still think probably my favourite commercial, was one called Pole Vault. Because we know how precious your time is, we design every BP station with you in mind. Three different actors, pole vaulter, American champion skateboarder, and a very good gymnast. Um, and I reckon that was one of the cleverest commercials. Of course, as fast as your visit to BP may be, it's important to know we never lose sight of the details. I was asked recently, you know, does our reel of commercials stand the test of time? Well, absolutely, I can point to commercials which, in terms of production value, set the agenda and do stand the test of time but also mirror that with a piece of communication which sets out the global green agenda of one of Britain's biggest companies and was literally years ahead of its time. BP Super Green, for cars which don't need lead, but need four-star performance. Oh, you better go down. Go down. Go down. I think it was uh, a privilege to be allowed to do what I thought was right, and, and I think the global brand, the building of the brand by these techniques, I'm very proud of that.